on moving forward Always getting closer I'm marching till it's over I'm just like a soldier Yo, 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 what is going on, guys? It is your boy Rippin here, and today we are back again with another Call of Duty Mobile Season 5 Gunsmith here, guys. In today's video, we're gonna be we're, uh, here, we have the Echo, and you know, the Echoes are like a shotgun, it's an automatic uh, firing shotgun. You could have slug rounds and whatnot, but nonetheless, guys, this is a build that we're gonna be going for today. If you're interested in shotgun gunsmith videos, definitely give this video a subscribe. But also, you know, also I wanted to add in there that I'm really thankful and grateful for you guys being really generous with your time and clicking on this video and, you know, watching it, you know, so props to you guys. But with that being said, guys, this is going to be a, uh, this is going to be a very specific build. We're going to be focusing on mostly like, you know, we're going to be focusing on movement speed. We're going to be focusing on hit fire of the echo here and, you know, how we can add in silencer with that as well. But with that being said, guys, this gun, we're not going to be focusing on the ADS time at all. So that really is not a concern for us. We're also not even going to be using the slug reload rounds at the same time. But we're going to be focusing on pure, uh, pure hip, fire, um, hip fire capabilities here for the Echo. And, you know, the movement speed. You know, you really want to have a high amount of movement speed when you're using a shotgun. But, you know, this gun is already deadly as it is. You're going to be really good. It's it's actually really, really fairly easy to use. So you're going to be totally good with it. Trust me, guys. But, you know, with that being said, guys, I know you guys are probably dead. Um, not dead. <laughs> probably dying to know the Gunsmith build that I'm using currently in the gameplay in the background. Well, you know, this is the build that I'm currently using in the gameplay in the background here, guys. As you guys can see, it is pretty self-explanatory. I'm using full hip fire build, uh, hip fire attachments and whatnot. I'll leave this screenshot open for a little bit. If you missed it, you can always feel free to go back and screenshot it. But with that being said, guys, as you can see, I do the Mothic Suppressor as my muzzle. We all know what the Mothic Suppressor does here, guys. And then we have the Old Ozzy Marksman Barrel as my barrel. So this is going to really increase our damage range by 30% tapped on with the Mothic Suppressor, which is going to do a total of at least 40% extra. It's going to have at least 40% extra damage range here, guys. So that's going to look really good for us. Then we have the slapped on the nose stock here, guys. Yes, the nose stock, the main purpose of the nose stock is for that movement speed that we really want as a shotgun user. But with that being said, guys, moving on to the next attachment, I do really, really like using the large extended mag D because, you know, you don't want to really reload that much. You really want to just go run and gun and whatnot with a shotgun. And, you know, the more mag you have, the better. But, like, at the same time, I mean, your mobility is getting reduced. So you guys can make that choice i'm going to leave that up to you do you want to use a large mag or do you not want to use it if you're not using it you can you should go ahead and slap on a i mean instead of the ammunition attachment you should uh, if you if you're not using the ammunition you should go ahead and slap on granulate grip tape here which is going to give you but ADS bolts for accuracy but if not uh but with that being said guys moving on to the last attachment it's not going to be the old those tactical at all it's going to be the uh uh, you know our favorite here the rtc laser m1 mw that's, that's kind of weird but but yeah with that being said guys that is gonna be it for the perks if you guys are really having trouble on you know deciding what perks to use for your echo class here guys echo has been in the game for a very long time and i really love this gun i'm not gonna lie maybe honestly it is really really easy to kill people with this gun i'm not even gonna lie but with that being said, you the perks that you really want to use is you, uh, you want to make your red perk lightweight here because since it's a shotgun, you want to use a lightweight perk here so you can be more faster. Green perk, you definitely want to keep uh, sticking to cold blooded here. And blue perk, you can be really, uh, I mean, that could be of your choice to be honest, but I really like it choosing amongst like either alert, or tactical mask, or even hardline. But with that being said, guys, those are the perks that I'm going to. Uh, that I recommend you guys to use and everything else is your choice I'm using the K9 unit as my specialist as well and my and uh, thermo oh, okay sorry <laughs> but with that being said guys thank you guys for stopping by once again I really appreciate you guys dropping by watching this echo gunsmith video uh if you let me know how uh let me know how you like this video how you like this build if you guys are looking forward to trying it out or if you already tried it out let me know how it works for you and let me know if uh if it's good or bad you know i want to know if the, all you know all right guys this feedback if it's good or not you know but with that being said guys unfortunately that's gonna be end for today thank you guys for stopping out once again 
I'll see you guys in the next one, which is basically tomorrow. But for now, guys, unfortunately, adios and peace.
advised. Hostile sentinel has spotted. UAV online. Eliminated. Six recon has been destroyed. UAV recon standing by. Repeat, UAV recon is standing by. Just like a soldier, I keep on moving forward.